brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Only One Mike Podcast called Gerard Brooklyn Dre. J Rob is in the building. How y'all doing, fellas? What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? All right, we got on the docket tonight, guys. Jonathan Majors, they did the boy dirty. No longer a Marvel star got kicked off in the uh Pope. His blessing, same sex marriages. Now listen, um start this off by saying I ain't no Catholic at all. However, you know, this is this is a, a crazy landmark decision, I guess, for the Catholic Church. It was like very staunch against, at one point, homosexuality and and a divorce and all these things like that. But right now, it look like it's a free fall. I know the history of them. They ain't, they ain't new to me. It ain't, it ain't new. Yeah, I mean, this ain't this ain't the most craziest thing that they uh, could possibly no. do. But a lot of people are saying like they got mixed feelings or on how that whole situation works. What they were trying to say, I guess, in this docket that they have is that he can bless a same-sex couple, but it doesn't go on the docket as actually being like a, a sacrament is the word I'm looking for. At one point, they looked at it as a sin, and now you basically bless in sin. It's a walking it's, contradiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, yeah. I mean, where, where where do they go from here? Is the next thing they going to bless pedophilia? Got some history on that for you. I'm about to drop on y'all too, man. All right, uh, before, yeah. before you do this, before <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like come on. Before you do this, this is just a clip uh from CBS five and they're talking about this whole situation. So y'all um check this out. Pope Francis is now announcing that Roman Catholic priests can administer blessings to same sex couples with some exceptions. It's a massive change in Vatican policy, with Vatican officials saying that those seeking God's love and mercy shouldn't be subject to, quote, an exhaustive morale analysis to receive it. However, the Vatican says that this should in no way be confused with the sacrament of marriage between a man and a woman. But the document says that requests for such blessings for same-sex couples should not be denied full stop. All right, so what do y'all think about that? Yeah. First of all, uh, uh, um, scripturally wise, I mean, technically speaking, you're not even supposed to be a couple. Like a, a man and a woman is not supposed to just be like living in, in sin and all the other stuff like that. So I don't understand what he's saying. Like he's authorizing same sex couples. Technically, you can't even be, you know what I mean? You got to be married. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? You just can't be a couple. You know what I mean? You know, yeah, I mean? like you can, I think you can be espousing, like kind of like you know, leading up to marriage. But y'all can't live together and all that other. Kind but that's of stuff. the thing that I always thought that they was against was like all of that. They're changing the rules as as they go. I mean, just the fact that that, that this is a, even a thing, this shows you how corrupt and immoral that whole situation is. Yeah, and they've been contemplating this for I think about two years or so. You know what I mean? Like actually trying to um get this thing passed. It's the same group of people that authorize slavery. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They authorize slavery. The Catholic Church has always been the, uh, I guess, so-called moral fiber, supposedly of the earth. Whereas, like, whenever they want to do something corrupt and sick, you know what I mean? They get the Catholic Church to kind of co-sign it. You know, at one time time or another, I want to say they was, like, co-signing Hitler. Probably so. They, they, the Vatican has been the bank of, uh, for, for many, for many wars and and many situations. And then if you watch all of these documentaries about the Vatican and these, homosexual priest you know what i mean messing with little boys and all the other stuff yeah. like that you know and, I mean? and, and, and when they got caught they would just send them back to the vatican and get them recommissioned yeah that's, 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 that's been going on yeah that's yeah. that's been going on real time in our lifetime well, I, and, I just and, want, and the vatican been co-signing that yeah yeah i, I just want to give you a quick little one history because you said something about pedophilia right yeah <laughs> they said uh pope uh boniface i you said the fifth, third, I don't know which one he is. But Pope Boniface says uh, pedophilia was no more problematic than rubbing one hand against another. That's his quote. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's, how, that's how sick he was, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> they, got, they, got some, they got some sick stuff, man. Pope, uh, uh, what was it? Pope Sixtus had sex with his kid's sister, had numerous children and all kinds of stuff. They got like a lot of sick stuff throughout the history of Catholicism, man. So it ain't, you know, when you, when I listen to it, I've been thinking they've been easing this in for a long time. They've just been waiting mm-hmm. for the right time to drop it. You know what I mean? 
But it's under this guy's particular watch. Um, was it? I forgot the guy's name. Pope. His name is Pope Francis. Francis. Too. Francis. Okay. They're, they're they're saying that the they're they're insisting that pe- people seeking God's love and mercy shouldn't be subject to an exhaustive moral analysis to receive it. Now, really, what he's saying is like uh, okay. we're tired of listening to what God is talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that's really what he's saying like we tired of it like you know like this yeah. is too much you know what i mean it's sad yeah. to say that but that's, that's what it sounds like and not to mention that's, that's know, exactly what it sounds like you know that the whole thing is funded by the people you know the catholic yeah. church so the gay dollars is needed in there just like the straight dollars i guess i don't know i don't know the, the, gay, the gay the gay dollars been in the catholic church yeah <laughs> they just they just making it uh they just formally letting you know what's going on now let me ask you this, man. I mean, have you? I mean, doing the little bit of research I did, you know, uh, as far as like this whole topic, I just was bringing up popes, and I was just imagine, I was just amazed at some of the stuff that these cats. Do you know that Pope Stephen, right? Mm-hmm. He dug up his predecessor, the guy that was before him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then he had a trial. They put the they put the papacy clothing back on this dude, and they had an actual trial where they asking a dead man question. Because that makes sense. Yeah. Did he answer? <laughs> Here's the funny part. They found him guilty of perjury and then they threw him in a lake. Wait a minute. Wait what? A minute. Hold on. Oh, oh. Yeah, man. Yeah, found him guilty. Guilty. <laughs> guilty of perjury. They found him guilty, man. This this is what we're talking what? about here, man. I, don't, I, don't, I knew they was going to do something well, sick like this. This is, this is the crazy part. How did the trial go? They said he was. They said he. They said he was screaming questions at a dead man. Obviously, he couldn't answer. Yeah, like, like what, what was the whole purpose of this? Was he found in contempt of court? <laughs> he, was, he was found in contempt. I was trying to dig as much as I can. I was like, was this public? Where they, they did they sit his bones there? You know, what I mean, what was the situation, man? But you know, it's sad. There's a lot of these uh, religions, man, that we give like this, like credit to well not me mm. but society gives this credit to for being like this holy or so-called good religion and all this yeah, stuff. The, the moral Mormon, the mormons all of this it's a whole bunch of sick garbage that comes with them dudes man you know mm. what i mean and, and but they somehow the moral fiber you know uh supposedly america or something like that you know they talk about the mormons like I remember one time I was watching football and they was talking about the Mormons. I think one of the football players was a Mormon. And they was talking about like, uh, like, yeah, such a, you know, they're Mormons, you know, like, like this is a high, you know, level of religion or something like that. This is a disgusting, yeah, you know I mean, they got popes that, I, I forget one of the popes, man, like he had such a sick life that uh, they said he got in there and uh, I think they were saying like how he had a, like one of the greatest strip, stripper, <laughs> shows ever. <laughs> a pope? <laughs> yeah, a pope, man. Wow. That's, yeah, he brought Magic City to the paper. <laughs> to, wow. To the, paper. to the Vatican, right? Uh, uh, yeah, the Vatican, pope was man. getting lap dances? Yeah, man. Well, they they were saying, he, he lived the, they, the, uh, the word they said was, I don't even understand it. It says a rolling, licking life. What? I don't even know what it means, but that was uh, <laughs> what they said. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 rewards some, it rewards some research, folks. Yeah, Go ahead, man. talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> a, rolling, a rolling licking uh, a rolling licking life man this rolling dude was, licking life yeah it had one that had like syphilis all kind of <laughs> yeah all it's, kinda. it's 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 so sick and i knew i knew that whole situation was sick when everything that comes out with them kids and they wasn't nobody really ever really brought up on charges when it comes to what people what these people were doing to these kids yeah, man. I think it's it just uh, kind of swept it under the rug, and it's like, come on now. I think it was Pope Alexander. Pope Alexander. Yeah, Pope Alexander. Listen, <laughs> man. The way the way the way they talk about this dude, man, is he was like the puff daddy of the Vatican. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Said, take that, take that. <laughs> well, I, I listen. Maybe the Vatican, uh, you know, stuffed the meaning of that whole thing way, way deep in the internet because I, I don't see anything. But a rolling, they got one rolling he licking was, life. That's crazy. He was so bad. I think he was a three time pope. They said he was so bad that I think uh, King Henry or something like that. They 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 drove him out of the Vatican. You know what I mean, <laughs> what it personally, yeah, man, he was just saying he was murderer. Uh, 
incest, all kind of crazy. God. Wow, wow, wow. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but see, this is the thing. You put them in a high regard. You know what I mean? Right. You got rolling licking popes and arguing with dead people. And- <laughs> ain't, ain't, ain't that a crime in itself? But digging somebody up and like talking to them? It's the bad. That's crazy. It's the yeah, man. So when you see these people and they, you know, uh, accept a lot of this foolishness, or the Vatican, man, when you do the history on them and you watch these documentaries, they've been doing this stuff for a while, man. Yeah, I mean, uh, I was I was talking to a, a Masonic brother a long time ago, and he told me that the little thing they wear around their neck with the with the square represents the, the the all the white lies that were told on the four corners of the earth. Probably a lot of sick stuff and symbolism and all kind of stuff that come along with that garbage. The thing <laughs> is, like when 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 we was kids, a lot of people was going like, you know, you might have a friend that went to Catholic school. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never go, and I'm glad I didn't. But at the God. time. At the time, it seemed like they was getting a better education than what we was getting. Actually, I thought it was tougher, man. I went to school in Brooklyn, man. Them cats were getting problems on the way to school. <laughs> <laughs> it was getting destroyed in them uniforms on the way to school. <laughs> uh, they, had yeah, a, man. they had a pope so bad, they described him as a demon from hell. And he's a pope. Yeah, I, I read on him. It was so much information on him, I, I, I couldn't even get it all, man. Yeah. Yeah, like I, I, matter of fact, matter of fact, that's the one that was uh, the three time pope. That's the one that they, uh, I think it was King Henry or one of them had them. Uh, they had to, to personally hand guide, guide this guy out of the Vatican, and uh, I think he sold the papacy at one time or another. Like, they, they, yeah, he, he, they came to him and was like, "Yo, man, you just wilding up too much. We ain't got, we ain't got enough strength to get you out of there. How much is it gonna cost to get you to walk up out of it?" And then he, they gave him the money. And he came back for a third time. <laughs> wow. wow. Sixtus yeah. was elected in 1471. He had six illegitimate children, one of which was with his sister. That's his kid's sister. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, man, don't get them dudes no credence, man. They 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 worse. They worse than than sinners, man. Yeah, this is this is crazy. A, a sick wild, group wild, of people, man. Wild sex lives on these guys. Syphilis, like hey, you man. said. I mean, I'm just, just looking at some of this stuff. Yeah, man. I ran down the list on them, man. And it's more than that. I mean, we just I just pulled up a few. Yeah. <laughs> what is, I think it's Leo the Tenth allowed the faithful to buy their way into heaven. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Oh, Leo, wow. Yeah, wow. yeah. Leo said the game is to be sold, not to be yeah, told. That's crazy. <laughs> Could you imagine how much we, we money everybody in if you can pay the cost? Yeah, yeah that, that's crazy. Wow. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. anyway, moving on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you, no, it's, it's good. you know what? Yeah, it's good to put the, the, it's good to put this stuff out, man, because they looked at some sort of moral fiber, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, they're nothing, man. They, they're worse than, uh, you know, I put it like this. We grew up with thieves and murderers and robbers and all kind of stuff. We grew up in the neighborhood, man. I've never seen them be that nasty and disgusting. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I mean, they don't a lot. A lot of times I can tell you this, you know, even though they doing crime and all kind of other stuff, most people don't don't play with God. You know what I mean? Or they don't you know, implement that into what they're doing. You yeah, know what it's, 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 it's some type of code when it comes to spirituality, especially with the so-called thugs and the gangsters. Like these cats that are supposed to be the righteous people or looked at as righteous people is doing more more crime than anybody. And yeah. and they defraud the people under a guise that we're spiritual and we have we have a direct contact with God. Mm-hmm. Like that that's even worse. Yeah. The biggest problem is, man, they got got to stop playing around, man. It just allow just allow them uh, priests and whatnot to have wives, man. You know what I mean? And this is the um, crazy portion about. It. I remember a uh, minister saying one time that they claimed Peter is the first pope. Peter had a wife, man. Peter had a wife. Had a wife. Which one of y'all decided that it was not cool to have a wife? Yeah, <laughs> and, but for, for me, for me, anytime I hear anything like that, that uh, you know, they 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 don't want the males to have a wife, or they don't want the females to have a husband. I already know it's some type of weird garbage going on there. Like even that whole nun thing, man. I remember in Brooklyn, right? You're going against nature. Yeah. Even that whole nun thing in Brooklyn, man. I remember one time it was like a um what do they call it? where the nuns stay at, man? Convent. 
convent. Yeah. I remember they had a convent in the hood in Crown Heights, man. And uh, I don't even think it's there no more. But I think when they removed that convent, man, they found all kind of dead babies up under the ground and everything like that, man. Of course. You know what I mean? So, of course. You know, I often wonder. It's like when the when the lights go out in the convent, it's like a freak fest up in there or something like that with all them, you well, know, sick. Maybe people. a lot of those uh, priests was, uh, you know, getting with them nuns and stuff. That's like a fact. Them, yeah, running yeah. Running that, 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 that's that's where the babies is coming from because yeah. the nuns ain't leaving. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they might they <laughs> call off and do something and come back. I don't know. <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> Hey, listen, man, it, 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 for the, for what is it, like the YouTube violation, whatever, like that, this is history, man. Yeah, <laughs> right. Exactly. This, I is, read this, is, this is this is for the purpose of education. Yeah. <laughs> <So it's> like, <laughs> We're giving it to you. Right. <laughs> That's you for you to do your read. research. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah go to, it's, it's a rabbit hole, folks. Like, we don't have all the answers, and we ain't sitting here talking like we too deep and everything like that. It's a rabbit hole, man. Go do I, got the one, I got the one answer. This ain't it. This ain't it. That's all I know. Yeah. <laughs> this all. ain't never it. Had, never has been it. Yeah. It's, it's disgusting, honestly. Definitely. Yeah, man. definitely. Definitely. Um, for real, for real, the, the vacuum should be brought up on crimes against humanity. That's a fact, man. Mm-hmm. Especially with all that pedophilia and everything like that, man. You know how many people got Ooh. cases against it? You know, we look down... Well, I mean, as as you should look down on people, regular people just do pedophilia in whatever case may be. It's wrong. But when it's somehow when it's these Catholic priests, all they do is they get away with it. They don't even go to court and then they move them somewhere else and they allow them to continue what they're doing, man. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, not, that's... not not only that, when you when you think about uh, the, the legal system, if somebody was doing crime and they got big off. Well, if a, if a brother or a sister did crime and they, they was able to amass a fortune. And they found out that they was guilty against, uh, with these crimes. They would come back and they would take that fortune. They would break all that down. But yeah. it's, it's, it seems like when you or when you have the complexion for the connection, that don't happen. Yeah. You know I, what I'm saying? I, I think this is organized crime, man. I think it should be a RICO case. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's that's what I'm saying. That's I think it should I'm be saying. a RICO case, and I think everybody involved, man, including the Pope, should be locked up. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, if a, if a kid can, uh, a group of kids in Brooklyn can be a rap group and name themselves uh, whatever little nickname they got for the crew or whatever the case may be, and one kid sells a nickel bag and they make a Rico case out of it, I think this should be a organized crime, too, because right. there's so many cases against them with pedophilia and all kinds of other stuff, you know what I mean? You just talked about how one of the popes sold the, uh, you can get into heaven if you have enough money. That's a crime in itself, mm-hmm. right? I'm going to even drop another one of you, man. I forgot about this one. This one Pope that uh, he put a tax on prostitution. <laughs> <laughs> he put a tax yeah. on prostitution. Yeah, tax on prostitution. Yeah, Big, it's, about, it's about getting that money. Big pimping. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's all it is, is getting this money. For the tax on prostitution, man. It's disgusting yeah. rats, man. It's insane. It's insane. It's insane. So yeah. when, the, when the prostitute comes to him or whatever it is, he bless the prostitute, tell her go back out there, <laughs> do what you got to do. I saw a documentary one time where a uh, uh, Pope was actually uh, with a male prostitute or whatever the case may be in and it's this is in the documentary, so I'm watching this. God knows I don't watch nothing about no weirdo garbage. <laughs> but uh, I gotta clear that up real quick. Yeah, you gotta clear yeah. that up right off the top. Right off the top. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean I'm, I'm looking at it because there's an exposure the, 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 here. The broke, this back, the broke back mountain of popes. Yeah, <laughs> they said when uh, he finished with the uh, with the guy, or whatever, like that, he got up and did sacrament or something like that, man. Yeah, you know I mean, I was like, yo, this is crazy, man. <laughs> I don't even know where yeah, to go. We've been after taking this pause yes, and trying to fight this vomit down in our throat. Man. Crazy. Yeah, I mean, this is my you know I don't like to watch. Obviously, I don't like to watch none of that stupid garbage. But I I, I do <laughs> like to see when people expose this garbage. You know what I mean? You know, so yeah. you know, unfortunately, you got to watch the weirdo garbage that come with it to get the exposure. Nick, look, in, in probably the next 15, 20 years, you're gonna have a gay pope, and he's gonna say that being uh heterosexual was wrong i'm gonna tell you something right now mm. this this dude giving the okay to this it's gonna it's, it's gonna explode man 
I mean, it's already exploding, but you know, people don't don't realize the power that the uh, the Vatican holds, man. Yeah. When they when they say this, I'm telling you right now, there's about to be about two three hundred people down in your local um, what is it uh, city hall doing all kinds of stuff, man. The Pope said it's cool. We got to get it on. Yeah, you know I mean, Thanks, man, it's disgusting, bro. That is so it's crazy. Hey, yo, yo, we gonna move on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you you stopped me with that Deuce Bigelow story just a second ago. Like the, yeah, oh, that's but, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, man, sad right. man. So <laughs> speaking Makes of you, feel, you lost faith in the world, man. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of speaking of sad situations, man. Yeah, man, Jonathan Majors, man. Yeah. yeah. Yikes. Uh, he was charged with two counts of assault and two counts of harassment, all misdemeanors, of course, and the jury of six convicted him on one count of assault and one count of harassment and acquitted him of the other charges he had. So um, I think he's supposed to face up. Oh, oh, did, did, did you say a jury of six? Uh, Yeah, jury of six. Where they do that at? They that many. Right there in my head. Yeah. Th- that's not right. Yeah. I didn't know that. I thought you had to have 12, too. I thought so, too. Yeah. So the jury of six convicted him on one count of uh, of assault, one count of harassment. Oh, oh, already, we, we we knew the fix was in when you hear something like that. We just need six up. This is, this is according to Reuters. Yeah. Also, the, the dude had a crazy charge, man, which I ain't never heard of before. It said aggravated harassment. Like, what's that? Well, not not from the not from the uh, the scene on that video. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look like yeah. he look, look like more like he a track was, star than a harasser, man. That dude. His life. Yes. Yes. And she was chasing him. <laughs> she was chasing him. Hold on. But, gotta... you can, but you convict this man of a crime. Hold on, hold Shouldn't... on, hold on. We gotta lay it down first, man. We okay. do not condone any man whooping on no woman, man. No, no, not at all. We don't condone at that all. at all. You're a sucker if you're whooping on a woman. Absolutely. You're horrible. Uh I can't even Say what I feel about you if you're beating up on a woman, man. But I, I, I also, I also don't condone no woman beating on a man and he and chasing him down the street <laughs> and then going to go hide in his closet and, and when you drunk and fall asleep. No, 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 no. Correction, sir. Jump. Correction, sir. She went to party first and then hid in okay. his closet. So let's yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's get that so straight. Like, yeah, she went to and party I'm, a, I'm a, you know, I mean, we're probably gonna get into all this, man. But I gotta, gotta say this while my mind if I won't forget it, right? So I believe he stayed in a hotel, right? Yes, he did. This, and this goes to show you uh, the power of being Caucasian, man. Mm-hmm. The man actually stayed in the hotel. I don't even think she was. Staying, I think he stayed in the hotel because he was trying to get away from her, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. How did she end up in his hotel room? He's in. It, it ain't like he had a red roof. You know I mean? <laughs> Somebody let her in. Yeah, how did he had to had to let her in? Yeah. Yeah, how did you know what I mean? Try getting in try getting in your some somebody else's hotel room, man. Anybody hotel's room. You ain't yeah, getting in you, there, you, man. You can't, walk down. Down. you can't go to the hotel DuPont and get in get in nowhere down there. Yeah, mm-hmm. nowhere. If you ain't got if you ain't got that key, you ain't getting up in there. But then again, if you're a white woman. Okay. Uh, hey hey guys, listen to this. Listen to this. <laughs> We might have some conflicting uh, articles here because now, according to CNBC, the jury was nine person jury. Uh, uh, yeah. that, that still ain't 12. It still ain't 12, but it is CNBC and Reuters. Reuters said six, CNBC said nine. I think the fix is in. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think the fix is in, folks. Like, I don't think it might not have been a. a well, look, the, the, the brother ain't going to jail. Because they already said they're gonna um, probably just give him probation because it's misdemeanors. So he's not doing it yet. Yeah, because, because now you don't have to send a, a brother to jail. You just you just uh, get him out his deals, and now he can't make money no more. Yeah. That's just like being in jail. That's a fact. After watching the video, I think he was assaulted. Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that was that was the way the brother ran. And did you see when she was chasing him and she like cut in front of cars? This is Manhattan. She's like yeah, right in front of cars, like that's just a focused. You know what I mean? And let's say this, man. You know how fast you got to be running to to chase down this man. Oh, she man. she she was on it, Jonathan. And this man is in, that's she what I'm going to say. This, in that video, boy, he was moving. This, this is what I'm going to tell you, man. And I've heard people say this, man. And I'm starting to get into the gym now. These white women ain't playing around in this gym, man. <laughs> they are not playing Absolutely around. Not. This Absolutely. woman is, it, first of all, she fought to get out of the truck. Let's understand, Jonathan Majors is, is, looks like a, a young Mike Tyson, man. Mm. A young Mike Tyson. 
You know what I mean? She fought to get out of the uh, thing. She got out of a few holes that he had on her. And she was she was stride for stride with him on that run, man. He he just, you know, he just put he, it in there. He, he, no, no, no. he, he, he turned in corners. He been in corners on her trying to get away. <laughs> but y'all didn't peep game on this one, though. If you watch the video, it was like a reverse horror movie, man. Like, he's the white yeah. chick that's running, but she's the monster yeah. that's walking slow. Like, <laughs> they running from Jason, Jason just walking slow. He ain't chasing him. And then all of a sudden, you turn around, he is in your closet. <laughs> you know I mean? so Shout like, out to man. them. <laughs> man. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Shout out to them. Both of them are running in suits and slacks. And, and, and shoes. And yeah, shoes. Like, well, she like probably had on are... some hills. She probably had on some hills. She was not playing, man. <laughs> she ran like she had some Mikey. She was getting it. It's a tough white broad, man. Yeah. <laughs> tough white. <laughs> <laughs> She's a tough one, man. She wasn't playing she around, got man. To it. She was in full sprint in hills. She like, come was on. was not going quietly into the night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she be go home. I'm out here. I'm in these streets. You know, <laughs> look, we, 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 we laughing at this, right? Because it's funny. It, it's comical. But yeah. the reality is that this man got a got a criminal charge and he got, he got fired out of all his deals. <laughs> like, for something that he didn't probably do. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me tell you what's so horrible, man. Mm. They showed slow down video footage of him putting in the car, right? Yeah. And it's like, I don't know if she hit her head or whatever like that, man. Come on, man. We who watch the NFL, we know a replay if we see it or not, <laughs> man. <laughs> she didn't hit her <laughs> head or nothing, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was no flag on the play, man. At, yeah. at, at all. In don't get me wrong, man. If you know, again, like we saying again, nobody's making fun of nobody putting hands on no woman, man. But it looks to me as if, and again, we don't know the whole story. We just only going off of what we see. You know, what I mean, if you're gonna, if if, you, if you're convicting them based off of what I saw, mm-hmm. you know, what I mean, it don't it don't add up. It don't add up. If she was being assaulted, or if there was a history of abuse, why are you chasing this man through the street if you're so afraid of him? If he if he does if he's knocking you upside your head, why are you chasing this man? Why did why, why did you well, end up sleep in his closet? I would say why you didn't get the cop right there. You know, New York City. She and then the man called. He called the cops on himself. He called yeah. not not on himself, but he called the cops because of what he was going through. Well, he knows yeah. her better than anybody else, and he knows probably what she is capable of doing. Exactly. So. Actually, his 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 phone call that y'all was telling me about. I didn't even get to hear it. I'm, oh, I'm we're about, to hear we're it. about to touch it in a few moments. Go ahead. Once you finish his, your thoughts. His, his phone call actually kind of, and I got to hear the whole thing first, but from what y'all telling me, his phone call kind of makes me understand why he's talking to her like that. He got a savage on his hand, man. Yeah, yeah. And look, <laughs> we, 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 we actually talked about this and that we, we've all been there. You had that one chick that you trying to, you trying to be easy with and let her go because you know if you just be like, yo, don't call me no more. She going to act real, real crazy. So you're trying to ease this to make sure the situation don't go left. And it still go left. Yeah, 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 man. I mean, all things considered, I mean, he he got the year or whatever probation. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. It's you know? sad, I mean, man. But, but the, the he's still jacked up because he's not getting no money now. Yeah, and that's that's the big thing. He was he was paid to make millions and millions of dollars from the Marvel from the Marvel universe, mm-hmm. and now he has none of that. He was he was like the next big thing. He had just did the movie with um, Michael B. Jordan, the Creed. He was he was in the Loki and um. The and other he had movie. a movie that Disney dropped, um, <laughs> like a bodybuilding movie or something. He was supposed to do, and uh, based on a true story, and I, I believe it's based on a true story. And they dropped that immediately. Well, they dropped that before he even got convicted. He got yeah. that. He dro- they dropped that when he got the um, when he first got accused. And and and, it's, and and as soon as they convicted him. They 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 cut their whole contract with them, dropped them from everything. Disney did. Yeah, yeah. And it seemed like they it seemed like they was trying to hold that until after they um, heard what the verdict was. And, but the thing is, is you was gonna drop them anyway. We all knew that, so why well, not just? Well, it? let me let me let me tell y'all something, man. Since we're gonna dig in this crate, before I play this video here, there's a man by the name of Ezra Miller who played the Flash. You ever hear about his criminal history? Yeah, the, I, I the, remember the, but the but Flash he did some on wild the movie. Stuff. Yeah, he did some wild stuff. Yeah, this 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 kid here had um. On, on video, beating the chick up, he broke in somebody's house, threatened to kill him and his wife. Uh, what else he did? He transported an underage girl over state lines. 
I think to another child. Yeah, African. yeah, child African. Um, what else did he do? I think he stole some liquor. Yeah, like went on a whole crime spree. You know what I mean? His movie. Cool. Is, 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 is this the Flash from back in the day? No, this, this is the, the Flash from no, the this movie. Flash now yeah. from the movie. Oh, not the wow. TV show, the movie. Uh, right. Flash well, he's not the Flash anymore. Of course, they. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. He's, he's, cool. he's done. But it's just the fact that you, you, you know, you let that stretch out as long as you possibly could. That's crazy. Poor Jonathan That's Majors, crazy. man. You go from Marvel, and now you're back to Grease enough for Tyler Perry, man. That's another story, but we're gonna get into. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all didn't hear about that one, that's you're another. Back to, you're back to oiling up with Tyler Perry. Man. As a matter of fact, I don't know. We might, if we have enough time within this show, we might have to touch might, on it. He probably got some body butter right now. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm, I'm not truly aware. I just, I know what you're talking about, but I, I didn't know it was confirmed. Well, I don't think it was. I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Let's just say this. Let's just say this. After the story came out. The episode on the Boondocks about Tyler Perry was wild. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and say anything. Perfect. Allegedly, allegedly, yeah. allegedly, for the purpose yeah. of the show. According to one of the actors, uh, I think they got some of their information from some of the actors in order to do that Boondocks thing. Well, they they well, probably so. It was um the the brother that played Uncle Ruckus. Isn't isn't one of them right now? Yeah, he, coming out about it or something like that. Yeah, that, well, this is another guy. Um, man, yo, look, do your diligence, guys. Who, who can one of y'all pull this cat up real quick, man? Um, since we're here, look, folks, we didn't plan on going here, but <laughs> you know what I mean. The opportunity uh, presented itself, so why not? we might as well shoot him while we're we here. <laughs> <laughs> shoot him while you're in the target. Let's go. <laughs> Let's see what's might good. As well shoot him all, man. Let's see. Uh, poor Jonathan Majors, man. I don't know what else he did in his life wrong, or if he ever did anything wrong with putting his hand on a woman, but. That footage that I saw looked like he was running for his life. If you look at the whole thing, so the girl went and met three people, met them, never knew them, and they just invited, invited her to a birthday party. This is after the incident took place. She went and partied. Said she had blood in her ear. She didn't realize it was blood in her ear. And I guess after the party, she ends up in this guy's closet. So The three people kind of said they didn't even understand what was going on. The um, I think the driver that he was trying to put, put her back in the the driver of that truck was saying that um, she believed that uh, he believed that uh, the lady's name is Jabari, isn't it? J- yeah. Jabari, Grace Jabari. Grace Jabari. So she believes that the woman hit him, was hitting exactly. him. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, I, mean? okay. I, I, think, I think the driver also testified that the woman hit him. Yeah, the he driver, was trying to yeah. get away. The but... driver said that. It's, it's time to drop it, fellas. Christian Keys, folks. Christian Keys. Yeah, I got it. All right. He also is claiming. Hold on, hold on. Before before you go there, yeah, yeah. It's time to drop it. What's that? It's the great Malcolm X said. His crime was sleeping with white women. <laughs> oh, <stop. laughs> <laughs> yes. Malcolm laid it out for him. <laughs> I, mean, if you, I mean, based off. Of, Everybody looks like, from what I researched so far, it seems like everybody that was involved in that situation is behind Jonathan Majors. <laughs> <laughs> everybody, the driver, they, they, he called the police when he found it in the hotel, stretched out. I, I don't understand. You know what? What is innocent to proven guilty mean, man? Like all of these, and all of these people testified. And, and see, this is this is the thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 Our crime I, I, was sleeping I, with white women. <laughs> <laughs> see situations to where it'd be like uh, it'd be a brother and sister. Well, you know, black people get in an argument or whatever, and the 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 man ain't do nothing. But when the cops get there, and he he trying to say like, "Yo, she like he hit me." Then all of a sudden. You got you going to jail. But correct me if I'm wrong. When she said that the uh, cops had showed up, this is earlier in the whole case. Didn't she say like the cops was kind of like coaching her to say like, well, he don't live here. You know, like he like yep. he couldn't afford this or whatever. Like they didn't believe he was a that he had money like that. And like yep. then from there, this is her. This is her saying this. Like then from there, they was like, well, this is what he did to you. Right. And she's like, no, you know, what I mean, this is what he did. to you, Right. No, no. So she actually said the cops was racist. Or whatever. So you kind of roll with him, I guess, to an extent. Yeah. 
I re- I remember when this story first broke and they were saying that she was like he didn't do it. Mm-hmm. And and then all of a sudden everything changed. Yeah, man. I don't know if, if if she if she became aware that she could receive some type of funds or if somebody put the battery in her back, but this whole story just sounds beyond wild. Well, that's it. That's the the wild thing. I don't think that he actually um has to pay any type of restitution. I'm not sure. I didn't see yeah. any dollar amount on that, but I just know that they said that they convicted him in February, I believe it is. Yeah. Yeah. So he's but the the fact the fact that he's not going to be able to get those Marvel movies is. Or any movie, for that yeah, movie. you know what I'm saying. Like that, that's 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 a lot. So you think it's completely over? Like they're gonna Nate Parker him, man, and he ain't gonna be able to do nothing. Pretty much, unless unless somebody put him in a film. Well, hopefully it's not Tyler Perry. <laughs> what, what's by by the way? Tyler Tyler is licking his lips right now. He says he's about to get it two for five. You know what nah, I mean? Well, you know what? <laughs> allegedly, allegedly, because Christian Key said that Tyler Perry wasn't the person he was talking about. Let me tell you something about that that uh, white lady, uh, man. Allegedly. Hold yeah, on, man. exactly. Allegedly. Let me tell you something about that white lady, man. She probably rolled it out with him. And uh, things didn't work out when uh, it got to the end when he's about to get that big check. And now, and like you said, she probably was thinking everything was going to work out because, uh, like she said, you know, when the when they police came to her, they were saying, like, he didn't do this, he didn't do that, whatever the case may be. When she saw that Black man on there with Megan Good. She said, "Oh no, brother, you ain't gonna do this to me." <laughs> <laughs> she said, "Oh no, you right. ain't so gonna go down like that." I've been taking like, care of you this far. <laughs> like, 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 like you said, his 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 crime wasn't what they accused him of. His crime was sleeping with white. <laughs> now this is just him laying down the crazy Jabari. This is who I am. This is uh, your position in this relationship. All right. So I want y'all to listen to this and then give me your And analysis. this is what I need from you. This is what I need from you. Period. This is actually, period. Do you understand that? Yeah. Do you really know this? Do you really? Yes. Then how dare you come home drunk and disturb the peace of our house when we have a plan? I'm I would so like sorry. To get to, I would like to get to the point where your friends know what job I'm on and go, I think Grace is going to be out of commission. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on, man. <laughs> How dare you come <laughs> in our home drunk? Wait a minute. I and like disturb this. the peace of our home. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Hey, what's wrong with this? <laughs> Nothing's wrong with that. He's letting them know, like, no. Nah. <laughs> That's how we move him right now. Yeah. You gotta step your game up. What my man? What, yo, what my man? Kevin Samuels called. What kind of man is he? Uh, 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 high value uh, man. High value man. High value man. High value man. He's trying to lay down some rules, man. What's order in his home? What's order in his home? You can't be running out here with these riff raps. I'm in Marvel now. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. Man. Exactly. You coming home drunk like we like we live in Brooklyn or something like that. We live in this high rise now. Yeah, you man. can't be all nasty and savagery all over the place. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hold on, let's let, let let it rock. Let it rock. Yeah, I I won't I, like I'm, I No, no, do you understand that? Because cuz that team, that unit, right? Grace has to be in a certain mindset. To support Coretta Scott King. You know who that is? That's Martin Luther King's wife. Michelle Obama. Barack Obama's wife. I know, I'm not, I, I, I shouldn't have gone out. I'm no, no, sorry. Let me, just, let me just lay it out for you. Right? If I am, I'm just gonna say this. My temper, my sh- my trauma, blah, blah, all that, all that said, right? And I'm gonna say, I'm a great man. A great man. He demands the same <laughs> level of greatness that he believes that he's on. Yeah. He's mentioning, like, you know, uh, Coretta Scott King and Michelle Obama. He said, I want some class yes. in my home. Yes. You know what I mean? I yeah. want class yeah. in my home, man. We're not coming in here drunk. We're not doing that. You know, yeah. we, you're not going to be rolling with that crew you got. But that's not exactly. You know exactly. I mean? Do you understand the air that you're breathing right now? <laughs> and, 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 and can we just acknowledge the fact. Can we just acknowledge the fact that this theater trained brother, <laughs> even when he's laying down the law in his crib, is doing it in a Shakespearean way? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you about to straighten my life up. I'm about to start making some things. 
I don't I don't know if the brother was arguing with his girl better, or rehearsing man. a role or something. I don't yeah, know. Like, cool, it's monologue. It's I, yeah, it's like a monologue. monologue. I've never seen like anybody laying down at the law like this. It's such a way that it's like. Hey, listen, man, I need, I've been reading a lot of self help bo- self help books lately. I, I think I need to listen to more Jonathan Majors, man. Hey, yo, could you could, look? Could you imagine if that was a sister? She just said, "Shut your corny ass <laughs> up." <laughs> you know what, man? I'm so sad, man. He did that Ebony magazine, man. I, I, this guy's good, man. I like, I like, I like, I like, I like a lot of what he got going on. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile. As she's sitting there taking it, the wheels are turning. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, the wheels are turning. All right, let's 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 jump back into it, y'all. I am doing great things, not just for me, but for my for my culture and for the world. He's doing it for the culture, folks. That is mm. actually the position I'm in. That's real. I'm not being a dick about it. I didn't ask for it. I've worked, and that's the situation. The woman that supports me, that I support. The work that needs to be a great woman and make sacrifices the way that man is making for her and for them, ultimately. Last night, two nights ago, you did not do that. You did not do that. You embarrassed me and yourself. Which, which took away from the plan. And the plan I got a white woman because I thought you would be better. <laughs> you and I got to get this one. Or, or, or I was the bone of like, oh, babe, let's go to bed. Which I said to her, I'm just going to bed. I'm not, I'm not hungry, blah, 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 blah. Because Grace isn't here. Why? She was drunk. Why else? She was clogged by whatever was going on. You know what I mean? Fine. I can take that. I, I, fine. There you have it, folks. Hey, man. Uh, this was some serious laying down the rules, man. <laughs> I'm he the tried. guy. He tried. For all the women that say that a man never communicates, he tried. Mm-hmm. He tried, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> he tried to make I, wonder, I wonder if Megan Good got a copy of the tape and already kind of studied before she, <laughs> she got with this, this is this. See, this is my thing, though. She recorded that. She's trying to take lessons, but her inner savage could not hold back what she really is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a good point, Jay. Who recorded this? Yeah, she did. She had to. Yeah. Unless the phone is tapped. It sounded to me like they was in the living room. So, I mean, yeah. this wasn't yeah. an over-the-phone conversation. I, no, I, I think she might have had her well, phone she... out, like, recording. Well, I think she would probably send that out to the people. Because I, I guess she was trying to make it seem like he was controlling or something like that. Or or, or he was being racist, saying that she got to act like like a black woman. What he, what he necessarily was saying is, I want my woman to be... Classy. Oh, hold on, man. You got to get into Kevin Sanders, man. He wanted a high value woman, man. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Above reproach. <laughs> he wanted a high valued woman, man. Uh, Say, yo, man, I can't have you have you passing out in bars and stuff like that, man. You know what I mean? Representing me out on the street. You, can't, you know what's sad? You know, um, even in the street level, man, these are things that a yeah, regular man say. Don't regular men want this too? Yeah. Yeah, regular men say this to women all the time, man. Like, yo, listen, man, uh, you represent me when you go on the street, man. I don't want you out yep. here looking nasty and yep. crazy or whatever the case may be. I mean, kind of passing out on balls. Him being the actor and the, what do you call it, the thespian he, he is, yeah. he just he just done it so articulately. <laughs> man, this, Shakespeare. This, this, <laughs> yeah, this is one thing that I actually noticed about what he was saying. At no point did he say, "Yo, you got to do this, or I'm gonna leave you." Mm. He never. He, he was never trying to. He that. was trying to work with it. I see what you're trying, man. He was trying yeah, to work exactly. With it. You know what I mean? Exactly. She just couldn't. She couldn't. Uh, he couldn't turn her, man. Can't turn a hoe into a housewife, man. Look, this, this, <laughs> this, this. What I want to say to all my brothers out there who actually get into some paper, man. Stop laying down with these women who ain't who ain't worth it. Let, leave them alone, bro. Kevin Samuels, I don't agree with everything he said, man, but he laid down the rules, man. High-valued man, high-valued woman, man. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I don't agree with everything he said, man. Look, but it's... <laughs> rest in peace to Kevin Samuel, man. You was trying to show the way you was ahead of your time, Phil. Well, you know what happened, though, man, for real, is that whether you're Jonathan Majors or you're Jonathan uh, Custodian, you should have the same, want to have the same type of respect for your home and whoever you're dealing right. with, man. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, even in the street, most men, you know, that are with women, once you get with them, you want to tell them, like, yo, I don't want you going out in the street looking like that. You know what I mean? Now, Representing it, me. I don't know if this was said or not, but I wonder if, like, the precursor to this whole thing, the antecedent, if you will, 
was that maybe she was drunk, looked at his phone, saw the number, attacked him. And then, you know, because she was drunk, maybe put her in the car, whatever he was doing, whatever it looked like he was doing, it looked like he was trying to get away from the situation. And like he bugger hooked her and knocked her out and left in the back of that cab or something. He was trying to get away from the situation. Yep. So maybe she was attacking him. You know what I mean? No, what? no, no brother like this who fought Michael B. Jordan and Creed is going <laughs> to run away from this chick who can't be no more than about maybe a buck 25. This 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 is the thing. <laughs> they 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 said in the beginning, I remember this specifically, mm-hmm. that she got mad because Megan Good texted him and she, and she went off about the text from Megan Good. She should have fought you, she should have fought Megan Good then. <laughs> and and, and uh, let me say this. I think she put hands and feet on Megan Good from what I saw <laughs> from my actual history. Let me tell you something, man. The way she came out that van was like the chicken Terminator Three, man. Right. <laughs> she was on it. She was on it like you see the smooth running, man. No, no, but she had the arms, remember, she remember had the that. arms pumping. Everything. At first, she walked. <laughs> she walked. She did the. He's running, he's running along the street like she got an axe in her hand, and she's like and smooth, just walking. You know, what he's I mean? giving, he's giving it all he's got. You can tell he's running for his life, and she just smooth pacing them, man. You running know what in mean? front of traffic. All type of yeah. stuff. She got oh, hit man, by she, a car. I told you. To be honest with you, that was one of the greatest action scenes I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> that was a wonderful action scene, man. You know, you can't write this stuff, man. You couldn't have produced. You, you couldn't have made a better action scene. She got a job, man. She got a job. Forget mm-hmm. about finding out what he's doing and trying to stay on his back, man. She needs to go get in Hollywood, man. She could definitely be a stunt woman. Well, or something I think he like actually met her on the scene of the the, the set of Ant Man. Is what they said. I don't know if she was in the movie or not. To be honest with you, but that's what he said he met her. Listen, man, that man looked like a young Mike Tyson, man. If he had hit that white woman, man, her face would have been much worse off than what it was. And again, I I don't know what he's done in the past. Which is basing it off simply off of what we saw. Yeah, you know, but, I mean? you know from with the injuries that she described, like if he grabbed her or whatever the case is, if he grabbed mm-hmm. the arm or grabbed the finger, of course he's stronger than her. Maybe he, yeah. you know it's going to bruise or swell or what. I'm not capable this- for anybody that look, beat up no chick, but I'm just saying, like you know, I'm trying to look at it objectively from both. This this yeah, this is my thing though, yeah. right? Being like we all been out before and, and ha- maybe had to take our homies' keys. Or you know what I'm saying they they don't they don't just willingly give them up, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm right. saying in, in most in most cases like they like nah you like you gotta like hey nah brother like here get in this Uber you know what I'm saying go home sleep it off. Mm-hmm. And then and then you gotta take in consideration our feeling because this conversation that he had would have must have been before what this altercation took place. Yeah. yeah. So it might be a situation where she's thinking like yo this is it like he had enough. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I, I gotta, I gotta find a way to get with him because it looks like this is over. And when you have that kind of conversation with a woman, mm-hmm. that means that you've had it, you you've had it up to here. Like you, it's, it's a numerous times that you've had some situations that you didn't really care for. You know what I mean? So now, now that I'm sitting here thinking about uh-huh. it, I think the reason why she put this 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 recording out is to say, like, see, he been one of the black women. He was telling me to act like a black woman, and now he got a black woman. <laughs> Well, no, I mean, what he did was is he just made the comparison. He didn't tell her to actually. Act. Yeah, but but in her in her warped mind, I'm, that's that's what I believe is what going it, on. What it would be better if you said like Jackie Kennedy or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, Hers- he, Hers- he Hers- just Hers- her to act right. Like like I'm like like these. He gave her examples. These great men had wives, and they wives, you know, had conducted themselves in this manner. Mm-hmm. I need that from you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's what it sounds like to me. Yeah, because he's saying, you know, I'm about to blow up, and I want to take you on this ride with me." But yeah, not not you getting dropped off, and I'm not messing with you. I'm bringing you with me, but I need you to, I need yeah. you to be above board. Did anybody say what the nature of that text message was that he got? Because it might not have been nothing. I don't know. I'm not sitting there trying to play, you know, armchair attorney, but like what the nature of the the, the text message was at the time. I it, it's kind of fuzzy, but. It, from what I remember, I don't remember what the text message was, but I do remember they said that he had got a text message and she flipped because he got a text message from Megan Good. Megan Good could have probably just been like, hey, how you doing? Well, it looks like they're together now, I think. That's yeah. Oh, yeah, she, she showed up to court every every uh, yeah. day for the trial, so. 
Yeah. yeah, just say, listen, man, I'm out here making this money. I'm looking good. I'm getting, about to get some good bread, man. I'm yeah, need man, you out here acting like good, Amy Winehouse. Probably ain't as frightening. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't. At the end of the day, yeah. at the end of the day, the brother got convicted. He, he's going to, he, he was charged That's and convicted. Up, man. Um, I, as a Marvel fan, am actually upset about this whole outcome because me, you, know, you, me, you both. Because now the story I, hangs I just, in limbo. I just start watching Loki. I'm like, oh man, he, yeah, he's done. Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I mean? So, and I'm, I, I had my eye on him for a long time. Anyway, man, he took that Ebony picture, man. I, <laughs> I lost. But, I love, but how I mean, about he's a great this? actor, man. But I lost the sad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let, let, let's let's put on the hat for a minute, man. Let's put the hat on for a minute. Do you think that possibly it's because he didn't put the dress on? Or? Well, he put the dress but on. He, but he did. He, he put the dress on. Ebony suit, yeah. Well, okay, 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 okay. I'm talking about like... Yeah. Right, he looked like, he look like Nicki Minaj on that email. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, but this, this this is the thing now. This is the thing, right? right? You go through all of that. You do everything that they ask you to. And then... <laughs> then you, 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 you in the car with this, with this woman. Did she... How can I say this? Did Did she present something to him that he wasn't willing to accept? Mm, Goat man. So he had to get up out of there? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) But yo, check this out, though. That's how he was running, though. Yeah. (laughs) That's the truth. Yo, he was on a good foot. He he dipping through cars, leading. He won't get me. (laughs) It's not worth it. It's not worth it. He was in the back of that car. (laughs) He's like, hold on, hold on, baby. I'm a boy. I am a boy. <laughs> I am a boy, David. Wait a minute, baby. Yeah. baby is, is, that a, is, that a, is that a goat he man? Was, I see. He was running for his life. It wasn't no slow drag. Just trying to get up. Hey, man, he that was guy was. You know, I've never seen a man run like that unless they was getting shot at or something like yeah, that. Yeah, you would have yeah. thought that she had a weapon or something. Yeah, he was running. Yeah, he was running for his life, man. I said, yeah, man. Maybe she, maybe she, she do have a weapon. Have a it's called the police. A <laughs> weapon is that white skin. <laughs> Go home, beat yourself with a bag of oranges, call the cops. Oh, man. Oh, it's a wrap. Man. But yeah, hey, man, Martin, I don't know. Martin Lawrence told us in the 90s is a thin line between love and hate. Brother. Yeah, if he feared for his safety the way he ran. And I mean, it just made me, it just made me wonder, because I know he did the Ebony thing. That is what it is. I mean, I don't know all his catalog of movies or whatever, but I don't think I've ever seen a brother kiss a man or nothing like that. You know what I mean? So. No, it, it was, it was I from what know. I saw, even the, even the one that they did where he was like a, 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 a pilot. Um, uh, uh, the Tuskegee joint, right? Was it, uh, yeah. Red that, Tails. Red that Tails. Was, was that Red Tails? No, that wasn't real. Oh, the other joint he did with him and the other guy or whatever. I never saw that movie, but I'm I just feel like that, that was a good movie if I remember. Yeah, yeah. he and he had he had the movie that Jay Z did with he, with the Western. Like he he was he he presented some strong masculine figures. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I I, I never seen nothing, fruit, you know, fruity from the roles that I've seen. Yeah, except for actually. the Ebony magazine. Yeah, yeah, that was the only one. Yeah. yeah, and ever since enough. then, every time I see the brother, he dressed like Frederick Douglass. So I don't know, you know what I mean? Yeah. If it was just the one time, or I don't know, one time was enough for me. But yeah, once you, you know, yeah. I stamped that flag on you. In so no I'm, I was just wondering, like, yo, did they probably he probably just like, did that the one time, and then they like, yo, okay, here's the next thing, and you like, nah, brother, I ain't doing it. Yeah, like the rainbow flag, I'll put it right on you when you do something crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's just crazy. What what would make like you said, a young Mike Tyson looking like brother run away from a hundred and fifteen pound white woman in <laughs> church shoes. My like, brother, why, why, my brother, do you watch the news? Like? <laughs> do you watch the news? <laughs> <laughs> you would probably run too. <laughs> uh, she probably she probably metaphor, metamorphosized in that car or something like that, turned into what she really <laughs> mm. something. Something. <laughs> I said, she's probably drunk, for, 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 for the sake of conversation, <laughs> her eyes might have rolled back look like, like reptiles or something. Yeah, you know, she, uh, oh, she turned into a reptilian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he started, she's a dragon. She's a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> he, that's the way the brother was running. Like, yeah, like he was running. He had to get away. His yeah, life man. depended on getting away. 
chick probably oh. turned into a werewolf in the back of that car for yeah, man. You know what I mean? So you never and, know, man. And uh for your sisters, man, you better get back on it, man. Getting these gems, man. These white these white women ain't playing around in the morning, man. I'll be in in the morning, they'd be like on the treadmill oh, yeah. running on the treadmill running like stallions, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? Going, they man. running backwards on the treadmill, they not even full backwards, doing uh dips and everything. <laughs> hey yo, I I I saw like a five four bro flipping the tire and I was just like Shh. Yeah, yeah, they serious with that. I don't I don't know what you're running to or from, but yeah. anytime anytime it's like thirty degrees outside and they still jogging. Yeah, yeah, it's it's serious. It's serious. The best fight I've ever seen was on YouTube, man. It was a white woman, man, about five feet, man. And when I tell you she was MMA on everybody, man, <laughs> jumping on people's neck, choking out big bounces, everything, man. I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> they, they not playing. They be on it. Yeah. And then for your brothers, too, man, these white men, these white men ain't playing around, man, in them gyms, man, doing MMA and all that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna sign yep. I'm gonna sign off. Oh, like brothers, man. I'm gonna get ready to sign be. off, but um I don't know. Speaking along the lines of this about why everybody need to get ready, man. First of all, did you hear your man uh Trump the other day? Uh, quoting mine <laughs> No, I I I, I didn't even hear that, man. You ain't hear that, man. Uh, all right, yeah, I don't wanna go I don't wanna go too deep into it because we're about to sign off, but he had um use uh, a line i guess well he claimed now he claims he's never read mein Kampf, but they say it might be uh like i think it was DeSantis said it might be a bad tactical move that he used at the time but he mentioned something about um poisoning the blood <laughs> of what? black people or something like that just look it up folks i'm i'm, I'm black people no 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 oh. no no <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I think he was referring to the. Wait a minute! Wait, yeah. what? I, I, what? I, I think I think he was uh, referring to immigrants, the the immigrants and stuff like that. But um, yeah, man. <laughs> we just be a J Rob face flip wrapped right off the back. Like what? What? <laughs> no, I say all that to here? say this, right? I say all that to say this. They have a movie coming out called Civil War. Did you guys see that? No. All right. Everybody that's listening to this, go pull up the trailer for Civil War. And it's basically, I think, Florida and Texas secedes from the United States. And there's a literal civil war in the United States where they like executing Americans. I think it was like one scene I seen where they had the guy tied up and he was like saying, I'm an American. So the guy asked him, what type of American are you? Mm. Yeah. So when you get a chance, pull that up and check that out. Just a little homework for y'all. Then we might get back on this on the next episode, y'all. But for right now, we're going to get ready to sign off. So, yep. Jonathan Majors. Rise and fall. Nowhere to run to. Nowhere to hide. Just do your number, man. Do your number. Hopefully, hopefully it's just the, the probation. You ain't got to do no time. I don't think you will. They all missed the minutes. So. Stay away from Tyler Perry, brother. Yeah, yeah. Don't take that check. <laughs> the Only One Mike Podcast is available on all platforms you stream your podcast on. Also, check out the Only One Mike Podcast YouTube channel to catch up on the past and current episodes. Please don't forget to rate the show and subscribe and check us out on Instagram and Twitter at the Only One Mike P1, Facebook and LinkedIn at the Only One Mike Podcast and email us at the Only One Mike Zero Zero at gmail.com. And you can use our call in line too to leave messages or call in. It's 302 367 7219. And you can have your comments or questions played on the show. We thank you once again for your time. All our listeners, brothers, thank you once again. And we encourage you, please, to speak the truth quietly and clearly and listen to others, even the dull and the ignorant, because they, too, have their story to tell. So until next time, please keep in mind that we never had to run from the Ku Klux Klan, so we shouldn't have to run from a black man or a very or a white, thin woman. white woman who might end my career. Peace. Don't, don't, Tyler Perry, don't Tyler Perry that man. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. He said he didn't do it. <laughs> Peace. Peace.